This is loud. <laughs> oh, it's on backwards. Oh, do I have wait? <laughs> so, um, we have way two running right now on Sundays and Mondays as a playthrough. So why not also play Black 2 as a Nuzlocke alongside it on Fridays and Saturdays? I am very excited to do this. I've wanted to do another Nuzlocke for a little bit. What better one to do it than my favorite game? This is the game that got me into Pokemon, like fully into it. So I can find marketable plushies and find every gen and say it sucks, you know? <laughs> wow, I can't believe that out of every generation, it was Generation 5 that got you into it. You're like such a late fan for the series. That was 7! <laughs> Wait, when did this come out? Wait, when did the first one? That one was 2010, right? I was 8. I saw the ad for this, like the, the ad for the first game on TV, and I was so memorized by it that I begged my parents for it for Christmas, along with the DS so I can play it. And like, you know, I was, I was a kid, didn't really get video games at that point, so I kind of like fucked up and did stupid shit during it, but really, I got really into the game during Black 2. So I'm very excited. Thank you anyone who watched Emerald and had a fucking blast with it. And thank you, Elf, for letting me use this layout that he made just for this. <laughs> I'm so excited! <laughs> Alright, new game! Hi there! Welcome to the world of Pokemon. Wow, well, this is very different. Wasn't the background white and orange? <laughs> Wonder why it changed. <laughs> I don't know, that's crazy. Yeah. My name is Professor Juniper. Everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. There will be no one calls you that. <laughs> I call her mommy. <laughs> That's right. This world is widely inhabited by mysterious creatures called Pokemon. Pokemon have mysterious powers. They come in many shapes and live in many different places. We humans live happily with Pokemon. Living and working together, we complement each other. We help each other out with to accomplish difficult tasks. Having Pokemon battle one another is particularly popular and deepens the bond between people and Pokemon. And that is why I research Pokemon. Well, that's enough about me. Can you tell me about yourself? Are you a boy or a girl? Well, we're, we're a girl in the, in the playthrough. We gotta be a boy in this one. <laughs> you're a boy, right? Yep. <laughs> I'd like to know your name. Please tell me your name. So the whole thing with this one is... Is the way we're naming these characters, like the, the the Pokemon that we come across, is gonna be based off of One Piece characters. So what better person to be the the father of those characters than Whitebeard himself? Which uh, Whitebeard does not fit on the thing. Here, I got so this. So what is his actual canon name? All right, so we. Is can... it like Eugene? Or no, no, that's Blackbeard, right? We we can do we can do two things. So okay. his, his first name is either. So we can do his first name, which is... Oh, Edward, right? Yeah, so, there, okay. so we have Edward. Okay, and what's the other one? The second one is his last name is Newgate. Both I like them... Edward because we're going to have to say Edward yeah. a lot more. Alright. Alright, so that's it. Your name is Edward? Yep. No, it's Whitebeard, but good yeah. enough. Oh, so your name is Edward. What a wonderful name. Could you tell me a little about your friend, the older boy that lives nearby? Do you mind telling me his name? 
Well, we are gonna change it for this one. What is Blackbeard's canon name? Is it Eugene? No. I, what is it? I feel it like is... we should... it, it doesn't fit, so I'll have to put his last name. Wait, what, wait, now I gotta look this up. What's his full name? Marshall D. Teach. Oh, that's right! Okay, well. Does Marshall really not fit? No, it doesn't. It's eight letters. Wait, it's not, I thought it had one L. No, I'm pretty sure his has two. Wait, we can do this real quick before you press OK. Marsh. You're right, it does have two L's. <laughs> Alright, so I guess... D teach. Edward, I'm going to entrust you with a Pokemon. I'm sure you'll be great partners. The moment you choose the Pokemon that will accompany you on your journey, your story will truly begin. During your journey, you will meet many Pokemon and people with different personalities and points of views. I really hope you learn what's important to you as a result of your travels. That's right. Befriend new people and Pokemon and grow as a person. That's the, the most important goal in your journey. Not finding the One Piece. <laughs> Let's go visit the world of Pokemon. But, but I had to find the One Piece. I had to get up on the hill and yell the One Piece is real. <laughs> we have One Piece at home. One, one piece, piece at home. home. <laughs> Look at this beautiful thing. Now we get to see it again. We just recorded the White 2's first episode yesterday. Yep. So we get to... We're kind of playing this side by side. Because we'll do an episode of White 2 and then we'll record, like, uh, Black 2. So we're constantly seeing the other side of the coin. <laughs> so we'll, we'll constantly be, like, right next to one another and whatnot. So, like, through the playthrough we're, like, goofing around, having a good time. The Nuzlocke, we're struggling. We're straggling so hard. <laughs> Why does she just stand there? <laughs> I don't know. She can't, like, walk and talk. Oh, hi! Oh, Arena Juniper. It's been far too long. What can I do for you? Wow, a Pokedex? Just for my child? Why, that's great. I think a journey will be a wonderful experience. Well, now she's right here. Oh, for Pete's sake, you never change. Once you decide on something, you just start going. Okay, Bianca, right? A big green hat. Got it. Okay, no worries. Oh, what the fuck am I gonna do with this bitch? <laughs> she's always sending someone over here to collect my taxes. I don't got no taxes. I hate paying taxes. I pay my sales tax every day. <laughs> I don't owe taxes. <laughs> and we're at home. <laughs> Do you know Professor Juniper? She's a famous Pokemon professor. Actually, she's an old friend of mine, and she called me today out of the first time in the ages. This is out of the blue. Like, that other screen that's just gonna be blue for the rest of this until we get something on there. <laughs> but Edward. What do you- do you want to have a Pokemon? Yeah, I kind of have to for the Nuzlocke. <laughs> okay, step one complete. Now, do you know what a Pokedex is? Yeah, I know how to collect my children. I know you would. It's, isn't it amazing that it automatically re records Pokemon you encounter? Yeah, another question. You want a Pokedex, right? Yeah, I guess so. I gotta- I gotta look at my children's, uh, like, entries to see what they like. <laughs> okay, step two complete. Edward, you- your course of action has been set. Gordon Bianca has come here to meet you. She's- Professor Juniper's assistant. I was told to simply look for a, a big green hat. You gotta do it though, because I ain't gonna go outside. <laughs> and you'll get a Pokedex and a Pokemon to be your partner. Oh, and your extra is in your bag, right? Do you know how to open your bag? Do you, do you know how to function? <laughs> a girl that mean Bianca, I was told you would be looking for a big green hat. She might be lost because this is her first time here. Because, you know, this building wasn't here two years ago. <laughs> go look for her. <laughs> Alright, thanks, Mom. <laughs> what, um... You might have to start looking up One Piece characters. <laughs> I, I got I got a name for our for our starter. Alright, go. It's you. Well, I guess it's Teach. Hey, Edward. Oh, hey, Blackbeard. How's it going? <laughs> hey, you get a Pokemon yet? There aren't any Pokemon trainers around here, and I'm getting bored. There's no Peaches with double fruits around here. I'm trying to get them all. <laughs> What's that? A person named Bianca is giving you a Pokemon? Really? I'm worried. If you get a Pokemon, take really, really good care of it, okay? Don't, like, get it killed by a fucking Watchog. 
Hey sister, why don't you shut the hell up? <laughs> okay, let's go get your Pokemon. <laughs> There's something I have to do. Okay. And to do that, I need someone I can trust besides my partner Pokemon. Person I can trust. That's right, I'm talking about you. You seem like you've got good instincts. You head on home. Okay, my brother, bye bye, Edward. Try the fucking loser, Eddie. <laughs> Alright, let's go find that person named Bianca. Alright. Let's go. I always struggle with the, the first gym here in this uh, in this game. It's, it's very different. Because they don't only hand you the win like they do in the first game, where they're like, oh, here's the monkey element of your opposite so you can go fucking torch them in the, <laughs> in the gym. This one's a lot harder. Oh, what's up? Oh, I get it. The outlook is Asperger's most famous spot. I'll bet Bianca is up there looking at the scenery. Come on, go get your Pokemon already. Damn, bitch! Zay ha 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 ha. Zay ha ha ha. Isn't it beautiful? I'm gonna stamp on that mountain and say the one piece is real. <laughs> it's so pretty. You're giving her a different voice? Damn. I'm giving all of them different voices. <laughs> I'm, ma I'm making it especially hard for me to remember because I'll I'm sure they're gonna end up with different voices anyways. <laughs> hey there, don't you agree? Oh, my name is Bianca. I'm the assistant of the Pokemon professor, Professor Juniper. By the way, that name comes from a tree. <laughs> I never knew that growing up. <laughs> I'm looking for someone. Do you know a person named N-word? I mean, Edward? <laughs> Sorry, his name is Whitebeard, but it doesn't look like you have a beard. You have a mustache, actually. <laughs> oh, wait. You're Edward. Wow. You're exactly like what I heard. Did Why? You <laughs> You're giving, like, that preppy voice that I do sometimes for, like like, uh, Daphne, and also, like, the Burger King foot lettuce guy at the same time. <laughs> Number 15, Burger King foot lettuce. <laughs> nice to meet you. I have a really important request <laughs> to ask you. Will you help us complete the Pokedex? Yeah, sure, why not? Oh, wow, thanks. Your support will help Professor Juniper's research move forward. Anyway, filling up the Pokedex is totally fine. Just like dancing around in lettuce at Burger King. <laughs> okay then. Ta-da. And here is the Pokemon that will be your partner. Hi, Bianca. I love your voice change three times. <laughs> She's a Pokemon. So last time we chose Tepic for the first Nuzlocke that we did in Gen 5. And that was pretty good because there wasn't a lot of fire types. And it would be selfish of me to pick Oshawott again because I keep picking fucking Oshawott. I gotta let the boy take this one out. So, I'm gonna do this little- this is gonna be a little tougher. It's a, it's a grass starter, which I recommend if you're doing a Nuzlocke, always pick the fire ones, because fire's really not guaranteed. There's plenty of grass and water Pokemon out, but I want to give myself a challenge. And I never use Snivy, because of its bad mood pull. So, here we go! <laughs> give me my snake! I chose Snivy! Oh wow, you and Snivy are a perfect match. By the way, would you like to give a nickname to the Pokemon you chose? Yeah, I got to. It's a boy! Okay. What well, One Piece character are we naming after this? Is there anyone that <laughs> deals with, like, plants? Yep. Alright, here we go. Alright. I thought you were gonna name this- Oh fuck, what's his name? How did I forget? It's that goo with the green hair. That's, uh, a big fanboy of Luffy. Oh, uh, Bartolomeo. Yeah, Bartolomeo. I was just saying because it was all green. Because if I couldn't think of one that, uh, does- Oh, what's that? Aramaki. I'm trying to remember which one that one looks like. You might have to show me. <laughs> I don't know if you've- I don't know if you've met him yet. I um, met, um... I met Whole Cake Island. So you know how Fujitora, um, uh, the blind dude, you know how he's one of, like, the new admirals? Yeah. Yeah, so, one of the other new admirals is, oh. his name is Aramaki, and he has, uh... He is the plant plant fruit, he can smoke his all, whatever you want. Yeah, I mean, yeah, basically, <laughs> he has the forest forest fruit. Oh my god, that was so close. So, he deals with plants, nice. that's, that's his whole shtick. Yes. Aramaki, is that the name you want? Aramaki, that is such a great name. Thanks, I came up with it. Yeah. 
Now you've got your Pokemon, so I'll give you this too. A Pokedex. Yay! Not to be confused with my Pokedex. <gasps> Bianca. <laughs> you want to know what it does? The Pokedex is a high-tech device that automatically records the Pokemon you encounter. So Professor Juniper wants you to carry this Pokedex, visit a lot of places, and meet all the Pokemon in the Unova region. Alright. Bye, Bianca. The oh. fuck you think you're doing, you little shit? <laughs> Hey, how long are you planning on keeping me waiting anyway? Hey, what's that? It's my dick of bucks. So that's your partner, huh? That's great. I didn't know you were gay. <laughs> my sister already said so, but take really, really good care of your Pokemon. Got it? Yeah, you won't want me to absorb its devil fruit or anything like that, right? <laughs> you wouldn't want that to happen. What's that you're holding there? Is that a devil fruit? Give me that shit. Yeah, that's my Quake Quake fruit. <laughs> it's a Pokedex. Give me one! I want to get stronger. If I have a Pokedex, I can learn more about Pokemon. That'll make me tougher, right? Um, who are you again? I'm Teach. As in, Blackbeard? Anyway, I'm going to go travel Unova with my partner Pokemon in order to search for something very important. Well, okay. I don't really get it, but going on a journey is always good. <laughs> anyway, I just happen to have another Pokedex on me. I got that thing strapped on me, you know, no big deal. Yeah. <laughs> Yay! Now he has a devil fruit too. What's his thing? A, the dark dark fruit or the shadow shadow? Yeah, the yummy yummy. No yummy way. yummy yummy. That's, it literally translates to the dark dark fruit. Oh fuck, I couldn't remember if there was another guy with dark dark powers. No. Let's see how good a trainer you- oh wait. <laughs> it's been a minute and you already forgot his voice. I thought it was Bianca talking- That's why I just said you should just use a normal voice for these guys. Let's see how good a trainer you are. I'll use my Tepig that I raised from an egg. Alright. Well, he, pr he pretty much has like a normal voice. Zeh! <laughs> 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 Alright, first one. And like I said in the white tooth thing, no matter which Pokemon you pick, you will always have the one that you're weak against. So we just gotta beware of Ember later on. You might should have used Leer first. Oh. Ooh! I don't think this fight counts because we don't have Pokeballs yet. Oh, what? Oh, I forgot you got- I can't use the D-pad right now! Wait. Oh, he's throwing! He's throwing! Maybe you get two high rolls here. Oh! oh! Yeah! It doesn't me. matter anyways. Yeah. We own that shit. Fucking Aramaka fucking eat that. Wait, let's, let's see what the- Oh, okay, never mind. Oh, sorry. I wanted to see what the, the boosts were, because that's usually an indication of your IVs. Oh shit. Well, we're gonna show you in a second, right? We'll be fine. <laughs> I lost. This is different than battling with wild Pokemon. Well, whatever. I'm just happy to know you're a trainer I can count on. Cool, I'm heading off first. Get stronger and get more bitches. <gasps> the Pokemon on both sides did their best. But this little one is still weak, so battle with it and make it stronger. Alright, Bianca. Alrighty, let's go make your Pokemon better at the Pokemon Center. It's like, the best place ever for Pokemon <laughs> who battle and get hurt. Thanks, Bianca. You're gonna do a lot of talking, so we might as well hand you the controller. The Pokemon Center is the same, no matter where you are. Let's go inside. Man, these York patties sure are good. Dark chocolate cover peppermint patty. <laughs> okay, ignoring that bitch and her York patties. I'll show you around the Pokemon Center. The Pokemon Center heals Pokemon for free. Nurse Joy is really hot. Sorry, you should bring your Pokemon <laughs> here anytime they're weak. I have your Pokemon. Hand me your Pokeball for a second. Sorry, I got your patty in my mouth. I'll, I'll hand her more than my Pokeballs. I'll hand her <laughs> my actual balls. 
I'll give her my super rod later. <laughs> Next, I'll explain the PC. This square thing is a PC. Any trainer is free to use it. Not to be confused with PC principal. <laughs> anyway, you can deposit Pokemon in it. Also, you can withdraw Pokemon from it. The next thing is over here. This is the Pokemon. You can sell your soul and buy many items. The Pokeballs you use to catch Pokemon can also be bought at the Pokemon. Here, Edward, I'll give you some Pokeballs. Alright, the next luck has begun. Next up, I'll show you how to use those Pokeballs. Follow me. I don't know why. Alright, check, check the stats. X button. Oh. Yeah, it's different. Oh, I was like hitting the Y button. Hang on, this one. Oh, yeah, tech speed. Oh. Nice! <laughs> I thought it was one of those, uh, those things where you had to... Also, if we're, we are playing a Nuzlocke, usually you put it on set, but... I think we're gonna need it on shift. Yeah. Dude, Black 2 Nuzlocke is hard. This is one of the harder games than Nuzlocke. Yeah. Pokemon Emerald's also one of the harder games than Nuzlocke. Yeah. We need all the help we can get. <laughs> oh, nice to meet you. You must be Bianca, right? Big he green hat. Dumbass glasses. And Edward picked up Snivy then? Hehe, <laughs> how- looking good! Oh, I almost forgot. I hear your running shoes, darling. You ran out so fast. Haha, <laughs> running out so fast? <laughs> you don't got running shoes. <laughs> oh, perfect fit. Let me read the instructions for you about how to put on your shoes. You hold the B button down to run faster than normal. And then you put the running shoes to the heart you can't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is for me! There's two of them! Are these Princess Peach's nudes? <laughs> no, wrong game, wrong game. <laughs> <laughs> wow, are those Princess Peach's nudes? No, wrong game, wrong game. What's gonna be the carry on in this one? <laughs> are there two town maps? I want to get one you are. Oh, that's a great idea. Even if a single road to the ocean, having a good town map is always nice. Oh, I mean... If I, if I, if you use a town map, you'll be able to know all about where you are in the Udall region. Aw, oh, you guys. <laughs> Just watching this makes me happy. <laughs> Come on, we're headed for Route 19. I'll teach you how to catch a Pokemon. Yay, thanks, Bianca. And like that. Route shows. 19. Burger King foot fetish. <laughs> Alright. A boy by eyes, bitch. Take Snivy and go see some different Pokemon and peep with your own eyes. I'm out of here. Wait, a bitch is. Wait, you didn't check the the the, the thingy. Go to oh. Pokemon. All right. We'll Summary. Ch we'll check how Snivy's doing. Docile nature. All right. What does that mean? It's just nothing. Me. Okay. You know what? I'd rather have nothing than something that's gonna tank our shit. That that is that is fine, honestly. Yeah. Cause. Like, in a normal playthrough, if it has, like, higher attack and, like, lower defense, then it's like, yeah, it's, it's like, like uh... <laughs> it's like, oh, that's, that's, that's not bad, because, you know, it's a normal playthrough. Yeah. Yeah, but, like, in a Nuzlocke, like, it's not, you need defense. <laughs> yeah. You need basically everything. Yeah. But, if we got, like, well, I guess it's probably, it's probably a mixed attacker, right? Uh, Snivy is good for speed. It has pretty good special and normal defense. Its attack and special attack is, like, pretty mid. Oi, this way! What? The, the, the Burger King full of this guy! You, should, you just voiced her two minutes ago! <laughs> I know, I, I, I was just imagining that he had a different voice. Alright. <laughs> this kind of reminds me of that day on Route 1. She's gonna have five fucking voices by the time we're done with her. Okay, here's how it works. The Pokedex's pages fill up automatically when you meet Pokemon. And when you catch a Pokemon, more detailed information on it is added to the Pokedex. I thought she was just gonna like end the sentence right there. <laughs> Here, I'll show you how to catch a Pokemon starting now. Give me my controller back, because after this is done, we gotta catch our first one. Oh, it's a purloin. Okay, so we can either get a pad route or a purloin on this route. Which one are you hoping for? 
Pat Rat. Pat Rat's pretty good. I want a Lollipop! Why can't I have that? Also, it's probably gonna be a very low chance that when we get to the ranch that we're gonna be able to get a uh, Riolu. Yeah. Well, there's there's some other good Pokemon there. Yeah. You can get Marie there. Yeah. I had that one in my Nuzlocke. It was pretty good. I was able to paralyze uh, the gym leader's... Um... Oh, my, my head's so dead. <laughs> <laughs> it's currently dying right now, actually. Let me plug it in. <laughs> I was like, why did the music cut off? That's weird. There we go. What a relief. I cut a Pokemon. Oh, um, right. I'll go over the important stuff. First, go find a healthy Pokemon to catch. If they're sick, then they you can't catch them. Yeah, if they're dead, you can't catch them either. <laughs> you need to remember this next bit. It's best to lower the Pokemon's HP before you try to catch it. <laughs> we ain't doing that. Use your Pokemon's moves to lower the HP of the Pokemon you want to catch. Making it fall asleep or paralyzing it will make it even easier to catch. I'm going to go deliver that town map to your friend, right? Right. 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 Continue straight this way to get to Flockussy Town. Bye now. Meet lots of Pokemon and catch a lot of them, okay? Okay. Alright. Let's see what we get. Pat Rat or Porloin? Oh, here it is. Our first team member. It's Purloin! It's alright. Oh, it's level 4 at least. Overrated as fuck. At least it's decently leveled. Alright, while well, I try to catch this thing, you come up with a name for it. It's a dirt type, and it likes to trick people with its cuteness and then steals from them. Hmm. What the fuck? It didn't even shake! It's so a level 4. Get in the ball. Pudding? We could just name it Nami. Oh. I was thinking Pudding, because Pudding was like that too. She's very cute, she's very deceiving. Well, think about it this way. Nami's epithet is literally a cat burglar. Alright, <laughs> Nami it is. Devious Pokemon. Their cute act is a ruse. They trick people and steal their valuables just to see the looks on their faces. Alright, this is Nami. I can't wait for Jolene to see this. She loves Nami. Alright, and then... Now, Nami doesn't have a lot of good attack right now until it evolves, unfortunately. Yeah, but at least with these, like, beginning route Pokemon, they evolve pretty uh, early on. Yeah, let me grab this. Oh, shit! Watch, you're gonna leave this grass and encounter a pat rat. Oh. I'm gonna edge the grass. Uh, Stop uh, it, just go, just go, uh, just go meet the orange uh, fucker. Uh, okay. <laughs> you there, trainer. My name is Alder. I'm a trainer who has a keen interest in the world. One of my goals is to tell people how wonderful it is to walk towards the future together with Pokemon. Oh jeez, call an ambulance! <laughs> my legs! Go, call an ambulance, call an ambulance! But not for me! <laughs> And you are? Home, so you're Edward from Asparagus City. <laughs> I see you have the Quake Quake fruit on. <laughs> Be careful of that guy named Teach, I don't trust him with that dark dark fruit. <laughs> I hear when you bounce your ass up and down, it causes earthquakes. <laughs> <laughs> your Snivy is a fine looking Pokemon. <laughs> but you're not exactly a seasoned trainer yet. Indeed, I will train you a little. Follow me. I know no one. Uh. I know no one. Yeah. Let me go heal real quick. That that purloin really did a number on my side. <laughs> oh shit! What was I just thinking of? I saw a thing that popped up. I'm like, well, I'm gonna go evolve Snivy real quick. Not evolve. Get one more level because it's like seven points away. While I while I tell this thing real quick, it was a um. A YouTube short that I saw from an animator. I think it's. Oh, shit, I'm trying to remember her name. It's not Jaden. It's not the other one's out. It's the other one. Fuck. Now I can't remember the story. <laughs> nice one. Yeah. There, oh, now I remember. Okay. 
I saw a thing where like this uh this song was going viral and it was like a it's this company that makes educational rap songs for kids of like math and like mm -hmm. science. And they did one on like angles. I gotta see if I can find it later. But like they like the uh the obtuse one. Mm -hmm. Like they rhymed it with it's got a big caboose and the uh, like it shows the guy's ass and it's like a monk. <laughs> and it turns out she animated it. And one not because she did freelance work. What, what, what are you doing? I was sorry, I was, in, I was on autopilot. <laughs> hey, look, there's a bat rat. Hey, well, we can get her in the next route if we're lucky. Yeah, so, anyways. Oh, finally! Yeah. It turns out she animated it and one out, so she was telling the stuff behind it of uh, she was working freelance and they hired her to do that, like, animation for that song and one not. And when she was listening to the lyrics, she thought it would be funny to draw a. She was like, if I don't draw a, a, like a big butt on this guy, I will regret it for the rest of my life. And she did. She sent the product over, and it was approved. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta see if I can show it to you later. Because that dude's ass is huge. <laughs> oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. And, and you think I would like a big dude ass? Why? Do you really have to ask that question? <laughs> Alright, point taken. Anyways, yeah. continue on with the... Uh... I mean, it's, a f it's funny. Now, that's not what I was expecting out of the first episode here. Well, I was trying to make it interesting <laughs> compared to the other one. I gotta make it different somehow. We can't just talk about the same thing if they're watching both of them, you know? I suppose. We can't make the same jokes. Oh, you're right. Edward, are your Pokemon well? Your Pokemon are always doing their best for you, the trainer, so you must always be kind to them. I Don't bet he's gonna say for us to go into the Pokemon Center. My house is a little farther. Stop by the Pokemon Center first if you like. Oh my god, you're so psychic. It's not like we recorded the first episode yesterday in White Town. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm so smart. You're like psychic. SMRT smart, smart, smart. Hey, this way. Shall we start training? By the way, why are you holding two town maps? I like to imagine that we're just holding both like open to figure out which way we're supposed to I know, to it was, like like you have a satchel back there that you're probably holding them in, and this dude's like peeking in your bag and he's yeah. like he's like, What the fuck do you have two of these? And you're like, get out of my stuff! <laughs> oh shit, it's like that fucking meme is like when your parents tell you to clean your room because people are coming over, and they're like, Oh yeah, thank you for inviting me, and they run upstairs and run through the hall and they <laughs> open your door and they start going through your shit. <laughs> They're like, it's a fucking pig sty in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, it's your friend's town map, is it? Your friend is the one with the Tepic, isn't he? It just so happens he was training his Pokemon on Route 20. Well, if that's the case, you should go and give him the town map first. Just follow this road, it goes right to Route 20. Alright, thanks, Alder. Thanks, old man. Don't call him old. He's retired. <laughs> He's tired and really tired. Also, I love Autumn, it's so cool. What is this? Pokemon battles begin when eyes meet. That's the rule for trainers. What if I just like, keep walking? <laughs> Avoid yeah, eye like, contact. He starts like walking up to you and you're just like walking away. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's like, like, excuse he's like, me. Hey, hey, What's that? back here. <laughs> What's the fuck? He's like, excuse me, excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, can I please? <laughs> oh, I'm trying to remember how that went. It was like, can you can I please get a fuck of that ass? <laughs> Alright. Mm -mm -mm. Pet rat! Alright, Snivy, let's see what you got. Alright, vine whip it is. When my hand I can pull, when my hand I can pull, when my hand. Would the technique. Well, I guess I can just use Vine Whip again. I didn't know if Vine Whip or Tackle was stronger. Should be Vine Whip. Okay. Oh, because of Stab? Yeah. Stab just means that the move is the same type as the user, right? Yeah, it stands for same type attack bonus. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it gives you a 1.5 times multiplier on any move that's that you're the same type as. Oh, okay. So, whenever you're comparing moves, you might have a move like, <clears throat> say you have a move like, um, like Surf, Tackle? Oh. or or like Ice Beam on <laughs> one of your Pokemon, and, well, let's, let's, let's compare these two. So, Surf surf versus Ice Beam on your, Samurai. Uh, on like your Samurai. Yeah. If you're going up against a Pokemon that uh, is weak to Ice, since <clears throat> ice, uh, ice Beam is like, 
I think 90 base power, it'll do 180 damage. Okay. But, uh, but the water move will do 95, because surface base 95 power, times 1.5 which I can't really do that off the top of my head. Yeah, but it's less than... It's, it's around like 140-ish, 140 145-ish. Mm -hmm. and, and so obviously 180 is greater than 145-ish. Yeah. Oh, look at that level eight! My Karamaki is really cool. Aramaki? Aramaki. All right, it's time to get our second Pokemon. Oh, Paralyze Yield, nice. Thank you. Alright. P duff, P duff, P duff. Alright, we have to re-roll. <laughs> we're, we're playing with the no duplication clause. That way we get more Pokemon of not the same fucking type. Yeah. It, it's just for our sanity, you know? Alright, here's our partner. I don't we got a Sun Curry! <laughs> <clears throat> I don't- I don't know if I want this. <laughs> Sunkern, uh, so, Sunkern might be pretty bad, but- Yeah, no shit. <laughs> if, if you have- if you have access to, um- Is it a Sunstone? <clears throat> I think it's a Sunstone. If you get access to that, uh, which some games you can get it pretty early on, mm -hmm. um, Sunflora is actually a pretty good Pokemon. Okay. We'll consider it. It might be good against Clay. I think it is actually really good against Clay, because I Ugh. I feel like I remember someone uh, watching someone do like a what is it like the Blaze Black or whatever those yeah. like really hard ROM hacks, uh, and they actually had a Sunflora on their team, and Sunflora actually put in some work. Nice. Plus, at the end of the day, you could kind of send this thing out in the early game, Whew. and you won't care much if it dies because it won't be good late game. Yeah. All right. The sea Pokemon. It suddenly falls out of the sky in the morning. Knowing it's weak, it simply feeds until it evolves. So it just eats a fucking sun rock and then it evolves? Yeah. Alright. It's a boy! A boy? Hmm. Is this one... This one, I'm not sure of what to name it. No, no, no. It's a seed and it turned into a beautiful flower. Cause I, I was thinking if it was a girl, um, I was thinking that like Robin might be a good name because- Oh, cause the, like her devil fruit? Yeah, her oh. devil fruit's the flower, flower fruit. Shit! But- Reroll! <laughs> but I'm, I'm not certain what to name it. There's, there's no like One Piece characters that are guys that are popping up for you. Is there other plant users? Uh, Aramaki is the only one that I can, that I can really think of. Uh... Alright, plant users in One Piece. Yeah. I like how brought One Punch Man. Turn... Who, who the fuck is Dante? <laughs> Wait, who is this? Yo, who the fuck is this bitch? <laughs> it looks like an apple, apparently. Who the fuck is Dante? I don't know who this is. Should we scroll up? Just look, look up, like, Dante One Piece. I mean, I'll name it Dante for now. I have no idea who that is. That might be, like, someone from, like, a movie or something. Oh, my... <gasps> oh, it is! Who the- One of the four emperors of the new world. Huh? You, yeah, you take that. <laughs> Wait, is it- it said Fanon. Is this made up? This looks made up. <laughs> what episode did they appear in? <laughs> Wait, yeah, what- is this made up? <laughs> Did we get fucking I'm so, trolls? I'm so I'm so confused. I don't think it's real. I don't I don't think so either. But wait, there's someone from. Hang on. Go ahead. 
Uh, one piece. Is it the gold one? Let me see if I can find this this character. Well, if we ever find a singing person, we know who to name, like what to name it. Okay. Sorry, this is taking a second. I have yeah, I have gonna... an idea of someone. Yo, he's cooking right now. Give um... us a moment. Doctor. Which doctor? The the quack. Cause this whole thing was like the whole cherry blossom thing that Chopper adopted. This this is good. It's not exactly a cherry blossom, but it's a beautiful flower. I I don't recall what I don't remember his name, I just remember everyone calling him the quack. It's not her. This dude. Who the fuck is that? <laughs> he's from he's from one of the movies. Um his, no, his devil fruit is the grow grow fruit. Plants growing at a rapid pace. Alright. <laughs> I guess that's it. Okay, V I N Z. Yeah, I I remember this I remember this dude because he like threw plants threw plants around. My package is on the way. I'm sure Robot looks fucking good. Alright, this is a really out there name. Sorry that it took so long. It's yeah, just... we're like, we got confused with the Dante thing for a little bit. Oh. Uh-oh. Why did you do that? I need to go back and heal! I'm pretty sure you can handle this dude in this pack. Watch me get critical hit and it's all your fault. Well, that'll be kind of funny. His name is Petey. Like Petey the Piranha. Haha, <laughs> I'm so fucking funny. You just forget to laugh sometimes. Alright, while you're on your phone, can you look up what what the level what level he is in the in the ranch? Okay. And we'll do that next episode. <laughs> Whoop that bitch! Yeah, bitch. Eight. Cool! And I have two Pokemon weak against fire! Hell yeah! Yeah! <laughs> I'm gonna grab a potion from over here real quick. I guess off screen I'll, I'll get them the eight. I'll, and then... I guess we cannot enter that ranch. I mean, I guess I can try. We can get an encounter before we, uh, before we do anything with, with, uh, Blackbeard. Okay. Oh my god, I'm panicking. I'm dying. Let's go. Oh wait, there's no restore option in this game. <sighs> I'm gonna do shit by hand. Alright, let's get our new encounter before we end the episode. Okay. It can be. It can be Riolu, it can be a Marie, it can be a Psyduck. Riolu would be really good because you can. But sit it's there such and... a low chance. <gasps> That's actually really good Look for us. Him! Wait, it's water! That's actually really good. We can use it on the Tepic if it has a water move. I don't think it will, but. Even like a shit one. But that's honestly a really good pickup. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's not water, uh, water fairy in this game, but... Yeah, but it's, it's still- It's normal water, right? Azumarill is still a really good Pokemon. Very bulky. Very cool shiny. It's very bulky, and it has the chance to have huge power. Puppet Dot Pokemon. It swings its huge, nutrition-filled tail around to fight opponents bigger than itself. What, what's his name? It's, it's a boy. So... And it bounces. <gasps> what's the guy's name that does the spring? Oh, uh, what's what's his name? He was starts, in Dress Rosa. Starts with a B. Baloney. Bellamy. Oh, okay. <laughs> I need to fucking spell that. <laughs> that. That is a good name for this thing, right? I mean, yeah, it kind of keeps the springtail, right? Yeah. Yeah, it does, because... Uh, Meryl has it. Yeah. 
I think that's fine it enough. It just cuts off its tail. I don't fucking need I mean, that shit it, no more. Like, we can't really use... There's not really any water users in... In One Piece because that ability would just be broken. Yeah, because... I mean, their whole thing is once you get a fruit, you can't swim no more. Yeah. Except for the guy that can just swim into anything. <laughs> no, except he can't swim in water. Yeah. Well, I think that's funny that his whole thing is he can swim through anything except for water. <laughs> yeah. The one thing you're known for swimming through. <laughs> Yeah. Alright, let's look at their summaries before we, uh, win the episode. So, we already seen Snivy's. Hardy nature. Is that plus defense? Oh shit. Oh fuck. Sorry. What was that? Plus, plus defense? No, uh, oh, it's, it's just nothing. Oh, and it has limber. The Pokemon is protected from paralyzed. That's pretty good. Gentle nature. Plus special defense, minus defense. So, uh -huh. it's gonna be more of a special hitter. Like, special, like, tank. That, that kind of sucks if we wanted to bring this into clay, because all those Pokemon are physical. Yeah, unless oh, it's, it's... It could be fast, and we can just easy, just like, sweep. Yeah. And it has Chlorophyll, but this is the speed in Sunshine, which if we find Sunny Day, that can be really useful. Yeah. And then... Bellamy! Hasty Nature. Plus, plus speed, speed, minus defense. Oh, so Big Fat. Ups resistance to fire and ice types. Yep. Wow, that's really good for the temp that we have to go against, because it'll have temp member by uh, when we go up to it. Oh, it has bubble! Oh, it does have bubble. We got a splash! We got to do. We got to splash it around the land and be told that it did jack shit. <laughs> and it has water spore, which we can lower the the fire type moves on the field and then use bubble, just yeah. in case the Zoomerola goes out. So what? Wait, what does this one has? Absorb growth and ingrow, and this one is scratch and growl, which it'll be a little bit till we get a like a dark type move on Nami. I'm very excited. This is a good start. I'll get them up to level eight, and then the next one we'll challenge Blackbeard in the ranch and get the story going. Yeah, unfortunate that out of every single route we kind of didn't get the Pokemon we wanted, but yeah. but we'll make it work. I think I think our team's gonna still shape together pretty pretty all right. Yeah. I mean, we really need a water type for Tapek, and it's a good thing we got it early. Especially, it's gonna be an Azumarill later on. That's really good. I think Azu I think actually Azumarill might be a permanent keep on the team. Yeah. Because Azumarill is actually really good. Yeah. It, it has a lot. It has a good move diversity. It's strong. The ability is good. Like. Yeah. Does it keep the ability, or does it change when it evolves? I'm not 100 certain of that. If if I if we could have it our way, then it would be amazing <laughs> if it if it ends up. Uh, with huge power. Yeah. But... Because that'd be really good against, um... Oh wait, there is no fire gym leader in this. Or, and there's no ice in this one, too. Nope. Damn. But we'll make it work. Yeah, we'll find out something for it. But... Alright. A very good start. Yeah. And the next one we'll go, we'll go up against... We'll go Blackbeard. against our rival. Yeah. And... Take things from there. Yeah! Bye. See, see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>